Hi everybody, welcome in. This is The Connected Conduit. Thanks so much for watching. I am going to do a love reading for you. It's going to be, who is coming towards you? And we have abundance. This is a general reading, not a one-to-one, -one, so only take what resonates and toss out the rest. You can flip the energies and put yourself where you go, okay? Who's coming towards the viewers? Oh my gosh, <laughs> this just came out in my last reading and it was all about, I just did it like five minutes ago and it's all about somebody wanting to come forward with an offer or a proposal, but it like, it's not the right time <laughs> and spirit saying like, just wait um unstick the stock okay <laughs> i did shuffle these you did see so that's really interesting so who is coming towards you abundance unstick the stock let's get another one so maybe somebody who's ready to move forward i see a lot of blue in this card which is throat chakra someone who's ready to speak up open up to you tell you how they feel it's also the number 46 okay four and six is a 10 oh my god wedding rings i'm telling you i just did a reading five minutes ago and um yeah it was all about waiting for the right time to come forward with a proposal whether it was a marriage proposal um, a business proposal or something like that and I feel like the energy is flowing right out of that reading into this one. So you might want to check out that one as well. Um, I think I'm going to title it, Wait, It's Not the Right Time to Share Your Idea with Others or something like that. Okay, I haven't posted it yet, but um, it'll be the one before this one. All right. Um, wow. <laughs> Wedding rings. Okay. Let's get into the tarot. Who is coming towards the collective? Who is coming towards those who chose this reading? Oh my God. Somebody is coming in. It's the chariot. Somebody's coming to travel to see you. Okay, this can represent the like a car, okay? And road road trips, road travel. A balanced emperor drives the chariot. Okay, this person, male or female, has a lot of willpower, desire, drive to come in. Wow. Somebody who's going to come see you. Look, the emperor is on the bottom of the, the deck. So, ooh, I'm feeling <laughs> really excited. Um, I'm feeling a bit, like, hot right now. <laughs> so there's just lots of energy coming through. This is really exciting. Um, this person is really excited. I feel like when this person comes comes in, you are going to be really excited. Um, I'm just seeing you smile so much um, and just be really, really happy. Yeah, this is going to make you extremely happy. The strength card. Again with the Emperor. This person could be a Leo. Doesn't have to be. We have air energy here, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I'm just getting that there's going to be quick, sudden communication that you are not expecting. It's going to be quite impulsive and come in very fast. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of throat chakra here, a lot of blue. solar plexus energy here a lot of yellow which is like the power center which is why i'm feeling quite a bit of warmth okay this person has something to say tell us more tell us more about this unstick the stuck so once this person comes in and, and communicates they're going to this is going to like, I feel like this is a connection that's been, I almost want to say like on standby. And there hasn't been any clarity between the two of you. And so this person's coming in 
to move things forward finally after a long period of stagnation. Yeah, the Knight of Cups. He takes, this is a really slow energy, <laughs> very slow, um, but very sincere and they're willing to bust through any obstacles to get their heart's desire. Again, more blue energy, uh, opening up, expressing themselves. The horse has beautiful blue eyes. Okay, this person might have blue eyes. Or maybe you do. Somebody wants to come in quick and express themselves. Clarify wedding rings. Three of swords. That's separation, heartache. Seven of rods. Clarify wedding rings. Two of pentacles. I feel like this person's not sure if you're going to push them away or not. And so they're bracing themselves for heartache. That's how I feel. Like they're bracing themselves. They don't want to give up on this though. With the ten of, of rods on the bottom of the deck, they want to push through. They want to give this a go. They don't want to give up. They want to put in the work. They want to fight for this connection, but they're really not sure what your feelings are. What does this person want to say? What does this person want to say with the Knight of Swords? King of Cups. We went from the Knight of Cups to the King of Cups. So there's a progression. There is um, maturity. Somebody wants to confess how they're feeling. They want to lay their heart on the line is what I'm hearing. Ooh. And they're nervous. I'm getting really, really nervous. I feel sick to my stomach, actually. <sighs> oh, yeah. This person's worried that it's really over with you. I'm not sure why. Um, what happened between the two of you in the past? Why is this coming through? What happened between the two of you? The Emperor and Justice. Things were not balanced, Okay. Things were not balanced between the two of you. Mm, I'm seeing a lot of red, which is bringing me to the root chakra, which is making me feel like there wasn't like a firm foundation that was built between the two of you upon which to build this relationship. And I feel like it was very like quick, like in and out. Like you guys maybe met very briefly, maybe only went on one date or something like that. And it just never went anywhere. There was no balance to it there was no foundation this person might have tried to control everything and things weren't fair you know that's coming through okay interesting for some of you this person could have been married or in the middle of a divorce when you met we have the Empress as I say that and stop shuffling. So I feel like, yeah, for some of you, this was just not a balanced connection for whatever reason. And for others of you, this person was going through a divorce or considering a divorce. Um, they may have put you in a third party situation. That's not for everybody. I feel like they are heartbroken over you though. This has been very painful. Tell us more about this heartache. They do want to come in and fight for this with the Seven of Rods. They're just not sure how you're going to respond. The Magician, yeah. They are trying to manifest you. How are you going to respond? Let's find out. They also really regret trying to... This is coming through for someone, but they regret manipulating you. Whatever that means to you, they were trying to manipulate this connection in some way, which is why I keep saying things were not balanced. Um, yeah, this person was used to getting their way, having their cake and eating it too, is what I'm hearing. You may have pushed this person away and said, nope, I don't accept breadcrumbs or I won't be put in a third party situation. I'm the empress. I deserve more than that. Um, how is... The viewer going to feel how does the viewer feel currently about this person how does the viewer currently feel about this person mm. 
<clears throat> Hello. <laughs> Maybe like you're very confused, you're not sure, it's taking you a long time to kind of formulate your opinions about this person. Okay, the tower. Maybe you feel, I don't know, like this person came out of nowhere. They were very shocking, surprising. You weren't expecting them to come into your life, but they did. And they sort of threw you for a little bit of a, a loop-de-loop. -loop. <laughs> and um, maybe for others of you, you feel like this person is a little bit chaotic, to be quite honest. Um, how is the viewer going to feel when this person comes in? How is the viewer going to feel when this person comes in toward them? Oh, 10 of cups. You're going to be so happy. You're going to be thrilled. 10 of cups. That's emotional fulfillment. Happily ever after. What is the potential of this connection? What is the potential of this connection? So... Yeah, what is the potential? Seven of Pentacles is investment, right? It's looking at, you know, your crop and, and seeing if the, you know, if it's worth, if your efforts will pay off, right? It's, um, it's kind, it can be like an energy of waiting, waiting to see. It can be an energy of investing as well, right? So I feel like this has the potential to be a good investment, but it'll be sort of slow, slow growing, slow going. It's not going to be like instant. Yeah, you're going to want to take your time and really make sure you process things and um, consider all the things you need to consider. But I'm also picking up the abundance vibes here and the seven of pentacles. I just feel like this is going to be an investment that will lead to abundance. Five of pentacles. Why did the five of pentacles come out? Eight of swords. Five of pentacles, eight of swords. This person, this person has been out in the cold, right? Yeah. And they want to come in. They can't get you off their mind. They need to speak their truth. Yeah, truth came out. That's the truth. They want to commit. You want to work towards a loving, stable commitment with you. I just heard I don't see any other option. And then the Seven of Cups came out. So I don't see any other option. See how she's tied and bound and blindfolded? This person doesn't see any other option. And they're really missing you. Can we get a time frame? I know spirit does not like to <laughs> give time frames, but maybe we can get a slight idea of when this might come in for the viewers. Oh, Ace of Pentacles. So <laughs> Ace of Pentacles can be sort of a slow moving energy. It could be from one month to one year, okay? Yeah, sorry, I'm just channeling. That's why I went quiet. Somebody does, this is a marriage proposal as well. So 
For some of you, you might get together before that time, but in terms of a marriage proposal, it could be up to one year from now, from the time that you watch this reading. Yeah, that's amazing. Ah, <sighs> so I hope this reading was helpful, you guys. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching and please hit the like button and subscribe if you feel called. I'd love to have you. Wedding, come on. <laughs> and children on the bottom of the deck. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is definitely a wedding for some of you. Congratulations. Wow. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Definitely. You guys. That's confirmed. Triple confirmed. This is definitely a wedding in the cards for you. And if not a wedding, it's just, it's union, okay? And a high, high level commitment. That's gorgeous. I'm going to leave it there, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this reading. Sending you love and light. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.